Hey everyone, good morning, afternoon, or evening. Well, this is the second video in our Gotti Token series, and we are going to be talking about the Steak and Lobster Rewards Program. I'm going to share with you all the specifics, why it was created, how you can be eligible, and also how you can get involved in this project. So come on back. We're going to talk about Steak and Lobster, baby. All right, guys, and before we get rolling, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm never going to tell you to buy, sell, hold. Do your own research. Conduct your own due diligence before getting involved in this or any other crypto project. And if you are stoked, you're pumped, you're motivated, you can't wait to see another one of my videos or live streams or whatever I'm doing, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. It's a small click for you, but it's a big deal for me. If you are not familiar with the Gotti token, if you're not sure what that project is, check out my other video. Feel free to go watch that and then come back and check this out. And of course, I'll post all resources in the description box below. What is the Steak and Lobster program? It's designed to reward loyal Gotti token holders. And remember, Gotti is on the Solana blockchain. So you're going to need a Solana wallet. The two that I recommend are Phantom and Soulflare. Now I have, I have accounts, wallets for both, and I'm going to share with you why that's going to be important in regards to, first of all, diversifying your, your wallet so you don't have everything all in one wallet. Because if something happens, you're in deep voodoo. I mean, if, if, if your account gets hacked on that wallet or something you the dog ate your seed phrases and you can't get in it's always good to diversify and have maybe multiple wallets um, that you are not putting all your Gotti or any crypto project in one specific or one just one lump sum in, in a wallet now if you transferred any of your Gotti even the small amount out of that wallet for whatever reason or you sold or whatever that will immediately ban that wallet address from receiving any future rewards. If you are going to be moving tokens around, understand that that particular wallet that you are using from will no longer be eligible, be permanently banned. You must not have sold anything or transferred out of that wallet. If you have purchased Gotti, if you have gotten airdrops, for you know whatever reason, maybe someone sent you some or the Gotti uh, token project sent you Gotti for whatever reason, maybe it was a buy comp or, or whatever it was, that's fine. Tokens going in are great. Tokens going out, not so much. So just remember, you could put as much of Gotti into your wallet as you want. You just can't take any of it out. Now, don't worry because if you need to do transfers, if, for example, you plan on selling here and there or moving stuff around or giving it to your grandmother or whatever, then create a wallet that's specific for you to be able to transfer out of. Like, you don't care. You're like, you know what? Th this wallet I don't care is eligible. Maybe I don't keep a, maybe I don't have a very large bag of Gotti in this wallet. So I really don't care if I get rewards or not. Then, hey, there you go. But just understand that once you transfer out, no matter what, that's going to be it. That's not to say that you can continue adding, right? You can still keep adding to that wallet, but if it's banned, you're not getting rewards. So just keep that in mind. Any transfers out of that wallet that you have disqualifies you from any further rewards. However, you could put as much Gotti in as you want and or just leave it and you'll be eligible for the rewards. You also must have one full Gotti token at the time of rewards announcement. So if you have a Solana wallet and you, let's say you're in the community, you're on Telegram, but you don't own any Gotti, then you are not eligible, rightfully so, to receive rewards. You haven't put any skin in the game. You haven't showed that I believe in this project and I'm going to hold on to it and, you know, whatever. There is such a limited supply of Gotti. Last I checked, we had 
around 200 and maybe 94 tokens, maybe less. That is not a lot of tokens, guys. So you must have one full Gotti to be eligible for the rewards during the announcement. All right. So you, when announcements can come at any time, any time of the day, could be in the evening. You ne we never know. You never know when announcements can say, "All right, here it is. You've got. You need to hold on to your your Gotti tokens for say 15 days, and then you're going to receive whatever X amount." Stick to the rules. They're really simple. You know, if you want to transfer Gotti from one t wallet to the other, use a wallet that you don't care. Right, like a burner wallet, if you will. If you have your main wallet, which is your main bag, which what I have, I'm not touching that. If anything, I'm going to be dollar cost averaging adding in. Depending on conditions of the campaign that's being offered, I don't know. No one knows. The only person that knows is MKID, who is the founder, who was a former um, and, uh, Wall Street uh, broker. And he's been in crypto since 2011. And so that's something that only he knows has mapped out. So it could come anytime. So you need to be prepared. Last thing, depending on market conditions could also have an effect on the amount of rewards distributed. And that'll be determined by the founder. I haven't touched any of my bag. I haven't transferred. I haven't done anything to it. I'm just building, building, building. Everyone in the community who was holding was was given rewards depending on the amount of Gotti they had. I myself received $700 worth of Gotti token. Once you understand the tokenomics of this project, that, what, whatever, three or four tokens I received that $700 could double, could triple, could quadruple. I hope I gave a good overview of the Steak and Lobster Rewards Program. If there's anything that I missed or anything that you want to see me cover, put it in the comments section below. But I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, here at the Crypto Dojo, crypto never sleeps.